Coming up on Torrance Today, high school seniors take a walk down the halls of their elementary school one last time before they graduate. Torrance celebrates another business success story with a ribbon cutting ceremony. And you don't have to be in England to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. We'll show you where the royal party will be right here in our city. All this and more coming up right now on Torrance Today. Welcome to Torrance Today. I'm Christine Lee. It's 4 p.m. on Wednesday, June 1st. Happy first day of June. I hope it's off to a great start. Thank you so much for joining us. Here's our first story. A group of Torrance teens revisited their elementary school today, taking a senior walk down memory lane. Coming back on campus, I feel like I got flooded with a lot more memories. It felt like a lifetime ago. Little kids coming up and like, like saying hi, trying to ask questions, um, advice to look forward to. I feel like I was able to provide a good amount of answers, give them some insight on what high school is like. I just want to let them know that the time's going to go by regardless, so you might as well make the most of it. Don't take anything for granted. You know, it's so funny. I do recognize all of them. I was their principal while they were here at Lincoln. And it's just so funny to see the maturity. I mean, you know, we often see it when they just go on to middle school. But now as graduating seniors, um, just a, an opportunity to sort of reflect on their time here, to look back on some of the experiences that they had here. And it's just nice to welcome them back to campus. High seniors put on their caps and gowns as they visited their old classrooms and saw their former teachers. Senior Walk is a celebration where soon-to-be graduates walk the halls of their middle or elementary schools and show younger students that hard work pays off. I didn't have the privilege of doing this myself when I was a senior at high school. I wish I did. It's so nice to see these seniors celebrating their achievements while inspiring the little ones to literally follow in their footsteps. Congratulations to our North High seniors. You are almost at the finish line. We had another reason to celebrate today. Aravant, an electronics manufacturing company, marked the opening of its new headquarters in Torrance with a ribbon cutting ceremony. We're really excited today to celebrate the ribbon cutting of uh, our facility in Torrance. This is our new facility. We were in Torrance before as well, but a much smaller uh, location. And uh, this uh, 60,000 square foot facility is really an opportunity to um, showcase not only our trajectory and our growth, but our capabilities. We are very excited that they're growing and really doing well. They have 60 employees at this time, but they expect to grow exponentially in the next couple of years. Continuing our efforts on Silicon Torrance uh, to bring in all of the high-tech businesses, and this may be my very last ribbon cutting, so I'll always remember the last one. I always remember the first one and the last one and uh, the thousands in the middle. Aravon was founded in 2011 as Sage Millimeter Incorporated by two veterans of the millimeter wave industry. As you saw, it's a female-owned company that designs and manufactures electronic components and sub-assemblies for millimeter wave applications in the aerospace, defense, communication, and automotive industries. Aravon's vision is to enable its radio frequency engineers in their journeys to create the technology of the future. Congratulations, Erevan, on the new chapter of your journey here in Torrance. A British-themed pub here in town is hosting the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebration this weekend, and you are invited. Yorkshire Square Brewery and Pub, located at 1109 Van Ness Avenue, will throw a street party-themed event on Saturday, June 4th, in honor of Queen Elizabeth II's 70 years on the throne. Expect new beers, guest beers, and imported beers, as well as several beer cocktails. Visitors can also check out new food items on the menu, enjoy live music, take selfies with the royal family, and play games including a queen quiz. The festivities begin at 12 noon and will last until midnight. 
Get ready to roll up your sleeves. The Red Cross Blood Drive is coming to the Torrance Cultural Arts Center. Mark your calendars for Wednesday, June 15th and make an appointment to give the priceless gift of life. The Red Cross needs donors with all blood types. The blood drive takes place from 7.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. at the Ken Miller Recreation Center's Auditorium. To sign up, go to redcrossblood.org and enter sponsor code City of Torrance without any spaces in between. If that date doesn't work for you, you can give all month long and there are some sweet incentives. Those who donate this month will get a $5 e-gift card. They will also be entered for a chance to win a VIP trip to Graceland. This trip includes round-trip airfare for two to Memphis, a three-night stay at the guest house at Graceland, and an Elvis Entourage VIP tour. The winner also gets a $500 gift card to cover expenses, plus a custom-wrapped Gibson Epiphone guitar. A South Bay couple is helping many of their neighbors to stay healthy through a generous donation. Lisa and Chuck Noski gave $25,000 to the Providence Little Company of Mary's Advanced Care Center to provide free heart screenings for uninsured and underinsured individuals. Their contribution may save many lives since it's giving those who cannot afford comprehensive testing the gift of a checkup. The Noski's donation reinvigorated a donor-funded program that originally launched in 2015 when the widow of a heart attack victim wanted to help others. Since then, donors poured in a total of $55,000, helping more than 200 people to check on their heart health. Torrance residents are not affected just yet, but many Southern Californians are facing new water restrictions beginning today. The ongoing drought in our state led the Metropolitan Water District to declare a water shortage emergency for the first time ever in April. The district took unprecedented action of limiting outdoor watering for millions of residents in dozens of cities throughout the Southland. Starting today, customers of multiple water districts, including the LA Department of Water and Power, are restricted to watering their yards just twice a week. Again, Torrance is not affected at this time, but changes may be coming soon. Torrance Municipal Water, a community-owned water utility, supplies water to about 105,000 residents and business customers, covering 78% of the city. Other Torrance water providers are the California Water Service, the MWD, and the Water Replenishment District of Southern California. Our city's water operations team plans to recommend to council later this month on moving toward a more restricted conservation level. The city is also waiting to see if Governor Gavin Newsom will make any statewide declarations in the coming days. He previously called on all Southern Californians to conserve water by 20 to 30 percent under an executive order. California continues to be in a severe drought and here are some ways we can help. Take five minute or less showers. Turn the faucet off when brushing your teeth, check for silent leaks, wash full loads in the laundry machine, thaw food in the microwave instead of using hot water, and keep a container of cold water in the refrigerator instead of running the tap for cold water. If you're looking to cool down without facing high water bills, the Splash Pad is back open at Wilson Park. It reopened over the weekend and operates from 10 a.m. to dusk. The Splash Pad is an unsupervised facility. It's open to the public and reservations are not accepted. For more information and to read the rules, visit torrentca.gov and search Splash Pad at Wilson Park. 2.6 million people in Southern California took road trips over the holiday weekend despite record gas prices. Prices rose for the sixth straight day on Tuesday, making the average price for a gallon of regular unleaded gas $6.17 in LA County. Experts predict that the price of crude oil will experience a jump following a move by the European Union to pledge an oil embargo on Russia. Experts say other factors also contribute to the high prices. Increased demand is a major one. COVID-19 lockdowns are being lifted in dozens of cities in China, including Shanghai. And many employees who have been working from home for more than two years 
are now returning to the office for the first time. Another factor is oil and gas production after the peak of the pandemic when stay-at-home orders around the world crushed demand. The Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, or OPEC, and its allies, including Russia, agreed to slash production as a way to support prices. And they kept production targets low even when demand returned sooner than expected. Analysts say U.S. companies have been reluctant or unable to resume producing oil at pre-pandemic levels due to concerns over environmental rules, supply chain issues, and hiring challenges. Data shows that California pays more for gas than any other state based on higher taxes and a mystery gasoline surcharge. To improve gas efficiency, experts say keep tires inflated and slow down. The best deals in Torrance at last check are at Costco. A regular gallon of gas is $5.69 a gallon. And three Arco stations are in the 560s as well on Artesia, Prairie, and Sepulveda. As parents across America deal with a shortage of baby formula, L.A. County officials announced they are spending a total of $1.7 million on baby formula for families. Supervisor Hilda Solis tweeted this afternoon saying that the county secured another $500,000 of formula in addition to its initial purchase of $750,000. The additional purchases will benefit patients at the L.A. County Health Services Clinics. The formula shortage was a result of a recall with major baby formula manufacturer Abbott Nutrition back in February. The first shipment of baby formula for L.A. County is expected to arrive this week and will be distributed through the Department of Public Health's Nurse Family Partnership Program. Supervisor Solis says the county will work with nonprofit agencies, health clinics, and the county's food distribution organizations to ensure the families most in need receive formula. Job openings in the U.S. were near all time highs in April, according to the Labor Department. Job openings stood at 11.4 million in April, barely behind the 11.8 million record set in March. This comes as the Federal Reserve wants to cool off the labor market to control soaring inflation. There are 1.9 open jobs for every unemployed American, down from two jobs in March. The city of Torrance is hiring right now. If you're looking for a new job, visit torrenceca.gov jobs. Well, still ahead, it's Wellness Wednesday, and what better way to focus on your wellness than through ocean therapy? Healthcare heroes from Torrance Hospitals got to soak in the sun thanks to a thoughtful nonprofit. We'll explain when we come back in 60 seconds. So we, so were, we were walking, walking to, school. to school. At, At the, the corner, corner, we waited, we waited for, for the traffic, traffic light. light. I started thinking about lunch. Mom pat me turkey and cheese. She's smart. I really want cheese pizza. But like at Luigi's. Sometimes her mind wanders. They have this video game there, and Kate's got the high score. We should have a sleepover. Maybe I should pack my pajamas. I remember saying, Laura? Laura? I think I heard Mom say something. The sign says don't walk. Sometimes it's so overwhelming. When, when we, we finally, finally got there, there, she gave me a hug goodbye. I really hope she doesn't have another bad day at school today. At school today. When you can see learning and attention issues from their side, you can be on their side. That's why there's understood.org, a free online resource for the parents of the one in five kids with learning and attention issues. Here you'll get personalized recommendations, practical tips, daily access to experts and more. Go from misunderstanding to understood.org. At the end of every episode of Torrance Today, we want to leave you with a positive story from our community that fits the theme for the day. On this Wellness Wednesday, we want to share how some of our Torrance healthcare heroes are taking a break from their stressful jobs and indulging in ocean therapy. 
The Jimmy Miller Memorial Foundation shared these pictures of caregivers from Providence Little Company of Mary and Torrance Memorial Medical Center having a great time at the beach. The foundation is providing multiple free sessions this summer to our hospital workers to provide emotional recovery from the challenges they experienced throughout the pandemic. The Ocean Therapy Program combines group processing while teaching participants how to surf and experience the healing power of the ocean. The nonprofit's mission is to help as many people as possible through therapeutic properties of the ocean and surfing. To learn more about this program, go to JimmyMillerFoundation.org. Well, that's our show for today. Let us know if you have a positive story to tell by emailing us at TorrenceToday at TorrenceCA.gov. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow with more news from and for our Torrance community. Have a great day.